Hello grade four and welcome back to art. It is 2021 and we are going to begin the year with a really fun project which will take about four weeks to do. And the only thing you need to get started today will be a pencil. I'm gonna use a marker because it shows up better on the camera. You'll need some paper and you'll need something called a straight edge. Now, typically, if you have a ruler, use the ruler, but I don't have a ruler in my workshop here. I think my daughter took it out of here. So I'm gonna use a popsicle stick. If you have a book that has a nice straight edge, you can use the edge of a book or the edge of maybe a picture frame or something that has just a nice edge that you can use for creating your picture. So let's talk about what we're going to do. I am going to commission you, which means hire you to create me a beautiful house. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to have sort of a fun art contest and everyone here is going to learn the same steps and the same techniques. And then you're going to use your imagination and your creativity and you're going to create a house for Mr. Price to live in, okay? Now, keep all the projects each week because you're gonna create them on a board and you're gonna do a presentation to me and we're gonna see which house in grade four I'm going to buy, okay? So, let me pan you down and show you how we're going to get started. Today is the day where you come up with your concept, your idea. Now, what you're going to do is week one is you're going to figure out what the outside of the house looks like, okay? So to get started, you can certainly do a Google search of different houses, or you can walk around your neighborhood or walk around town. There's so many nice layouts and houses that you can look at. So. What I want you to do is take your piece of paper that looks like this, turn it sideways so the top is the long edge, okay? And let's fold it in half, okay? Because I want my house to be symmetrical. Symmetrical is when it is the same on both sides, okay? Now when you look at houses, you'll see there's so many different styles. But for this project, we're gonna keep it kind of simple to get the idea going. And by folding the paper, it created a midline. You see the midline there? That's gonna help me figure out what I draw on this side, I really should be putting on this side as well. Don't worry if the lines are perfect or even or exact. Right now, I want you just to get your idea mapped out on your paper, okay? So if I move you down, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to start with a plain old rectangle, okay? So I'm going to draw a line here, and I'm going to put a line up like this. And if I do it there, I have to do it over here. So what I can do is if I'm using a popsicle stick here, see I can measure my midline to the edge and then drag it over. Oh, see that line went a little longer than it should, but that's okay. And actually I should measure how tall I made the line too, right? So I am using my popsicle stick to help measure these lines and make them nice and even. But if you're just drawing right now, that's okay. So there's a box, okay? And I think the box is going to have a triangle on top, which is going to be the roof. So I think I'll put on a super high roof, a line like that. Okay, so do you see how I started to make the house? Now that's a very basic style house, but what I wanna show you something is once you do this, you can take just these two shapes alone and change them so it completely redesigns the outside of the house. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to do maybe a tall shape box. And 
this time I'm gonna raise the pitch of the triangle, the height of it, and look at that. Same technique, but it created two different houses. Okay, so here is my first one. Here is my second one. And here is one I did off camera, which has a much taller roof line. Do you see that? But this doesn't have to be the house itself. This might be just the porch in the beginning. So once you do step one, you're ready for step two. Now, if I were you, I would probably draw maybe three of these like I did because it's starting to get my imagination moving and I'm starting to see different style uh, houses forming, okay? So let's go back to house number one and we are going to work on part number two now, okay? So let me move you down, okay? Now part number two is going to be adding two boxes to this paper or to this this uh, house okay so the two boxes can go anywhere but remember I want it to be symmetrical so if I put a box maybe over here this would be like the next part of the house like an extension okay so here is a box and it could be sort of rectangular so there's one box maybe that's the garage and then I'm gonna put the same box, same size. So you know what? I'm gonna take my ruler and just kind of give myself a measuring guide. There. Okay. So in picture number one, I put my two boxes left and right. Okay, so here's my other house. This is house number two. And let's see, I think I'll make the boxes a bit taller because this house is leaner looking, which means it's thinner height wise. So I think, let's see, hmm, I'm gonna make the boxes almost the same height as this box. So you can see what I did was I created them to be taller and leaner like the box right here, okay? So let's see what box or house number three is going to look like. Okay, so here's house number three. Let me turn it around for you. And I think, let's see, hmm, I'm going to make these boxes. Tall, taller than that box right there. So if I'm gonna do that, I have to use my imagination and pretend that the corner of the house is going behind this triangle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start maybe right here and continue to draw. And go down. Bottom. So do you see how I'm not seeing the ending of this box? I have to almost use my imagination. And that's because this piece is now in 2D land in front of that. Okay, it's overlapping. So let me do the same thing on the other side. There. Okay. So do you see how those two boxes now are behind this part, okay? All right, so house one, house two, and house number three right here. Same technique, but you can see the shapes are starting to change. Now, there's one more thing I want you to do, okay? Is we have to put roof lines on the two boxes on the right and the left. Because if we left those flat, you know what would happen? The next time it snowed, the roof would have a tremendous amount of weight on it and it might collapse. So that's why roof lines have angles. It's that way in this part of the country, 
Uh, most houses have triangular roofs, and that's because when it snows, the water or the ice or the snow can glide off the roof. Isn't that interesting? So there is a purpose for the design of houses where we live. If you go out maybe towards the desert, a lot of their roofs are flat because they don't get a lot, any snow or rain. So it's an easier way to build the house. So here we go. Let's put some roof lines on those two boxes, okay? So I think, in, um, you know what? We can change the shape. It doesn't have to be a triangle. For example, maybe I'm going to do a half triangle and then connect it to that line like that. Do you see what I did? So let me do that on that side. So it's a half triangle like this. And then connect it straight across. Whoop, a little crooked, that's all right. All right, so do you see how I was able to put the roof line on that house? It doesn't have to be a triangle. All right, let's move on to this picture here. This is picture number three, technically, but that's okay. And I like the way that looks, so I think I'm going to do that again, but this time I'm gonna sharpen up the angle a bit, meaning make it much more steep. And I'm gonna make it go behind. Oh wow, look at that. Cool, right? And then finally, let's go back to picture number one. All right, and I think I'll do, you know what? I'm gonna stick with two traditional triangles. And we'll see how that looks. Okay, there, that's nice. Okay. So, for today, what I want you to do is practice making your three houses, okay? They can be exactly exactly like mine, or you can change them a little bit. But this is part one, and next week, we're going to be going into part two, which is adding some details to the houses, okay? All right, so get working, get creating, and Keep these because you're going to need them for part two, which is next week, okay? All right, have fun, boys and girls, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.